have downloaded and installed Camtasia Studio 7, go ahead and launch the program and you will see the opening screen here. If you see any files in this timeline area here, delete them, remove them from the timeline, just right click on them and remove them. Click on Clip Bin and if you see any files in the Clip Bin area, also remove them. I want you to begin with a clean slate, a blank timeline, a blank stage. Once you've got everything launched and cleaned, you're ready for the next step. And the next step is to click on Record the Screen. When you click on Record the Screen, as you see, a series of dots will come up that form a box or rectangle or whatever. And this is your recording area. You will also see the recording toolbar. Now, I want you to do a series of things in this recording toolbar. The first thing that I want you to do is to change the dimensions to 960, 720. 960, 720 is, I think, ideal for recording demonstrations of software and other windows that you have open. It's large enough that it allows you to see all the controls and features and especially the text of anything that you're trying to make a screen recording of. But it's also small enough that it fits on most computer monitors. If you take this down to 640, 480, which is the standard web video size, you'll see that it's a very small window. That is a very small window. That's very hard to see controls, to see words. It's very hard to work with. Eventually going to bring it down to 640, 480, but you're going to start one size larger, which is 960, 720. It's the same height width ratio, square pixel, as 640, 480, the standard, but it gives you room uh, to work. Okay, the next thing you're going to do going to configure all your inputs and everything on your toolbar. Okay, let's click on Tools and go to Options. On the General tab, you don't need to change a thing. The defaults are exactly what you want. You're going to be doing your work on the inputs. The first thing is your screen capture rate. You really don't need anything more hefty than 15 frames per second. 15 frames per second is fine for these screen captures that really only have text on them and they're pretty static. There are no human beings moving or racing or splashing water or anything else. You're going to save your 30 frames per second for your camera. So screen capture, if you're doing just a software program, 15 frames per second is fine. Now your audio, you do have to set your audio device. You do have to select it. As you can see, I've got a headset set up. A line in means your computer, speakers, and microphone. I've also got an external mic hooked up. Uh, let's go with that one. The next thing is you want to select your webcam. Make sure your webcam's hooked up. Select your webcam. Make sure you see a picture there. Make sure your picture is well lighted. Make sure that, you know, you are where you want to be in the webcam. You know, you've, you've got a little bit of negative space on top, but not a whole lot of negative space on top. Your, your shoulders and arms are kind of filling out the bottom of the frame. So get everything set up there. Okay. Once you've got those inputs set, click. Now, don't worry about this toolbar. This toolbar, as soon as you hit the big red record button, that toolbar is going to jump out of the way. The main thing you got to do is to make sure your audio is on. And this is a on-off switch right here. Click one time, it's on. Test, 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 test. Click another time, it goes off. Same thing for your webcam. Click one time, it's off. One time, it's on. So make sure all those inputs are on and they are working fine. And then you're ready to hit record. Okay, let's record your PowerPoint. Go to Slideshow. Then in Slideshow, click on Setup Slideshow. And make sure the radio button Browsed by an individual is selected. You may also want to bring down your resolution at this time so that you get a good, smooth uh, set of animations and transitions. Begin the show. 
Now, when you bring up your recording window, your next job will be to fit your PowerPoint inside the recording window dimensions, which will be either 64480 or 96720. To do this, click and drag on the bottom right corner using your drag in a diagonal fashion to adjust the height and the width at the same time. This will take some playing around until the recording window is squarely on the PowerPoint show and only the PowerPoint show with none of the window showing, only the PowerPoint. Once you have the PowerPoint squarely within the recording window, you are ready to click record and right after you click record you will get a countdown and at the end of that countdown the screen recorder will begin recording and that will be indicated by flashing corners at the same time you want to begin your narration so that the audio the narration is synced with the timings of the PowerPoint your narration is now going as you listen to the narration, you forward the PowerPoint, bringing in each animation on cue. Now, once the PowerPoint is recorded with Camtasia, click on Stop. Clicking on Stop will bring up the preview window. Camtasia gives you a preview of your screen recording to make sure you got what you need. Definitely check to make sure that your borders, your edges are clean on your PowerPoint. Save that recording. It's called a CamRec. It's really just an AVI file. And once you save it, Camtasia will automatically open up its editing window and place that capture on the timeline. Now you're ready to edit your screen recording and add your narration to it.